Thank you for giving me this opportunity. It is an honor to speak in front of all of you today. I am more, I am more than excited to address my beloved class, of course, but first, let me take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a setup. <laughs> During my five years at Sophie Davis, I have never had to be all night except for last night to write this speech. <laughs> I would like to take a few minutes to share with you my journey, which I call five years of Sophie BS. Sorry, BSMD. <laughs> if you think something is funny, please laugh. And if it's not funny, laugh harder. <laughs> it all started. Started. On the first day, and the second day, and the third day, Keisha walked in late to class. <laughs> Our physics teacher asked her, how come you're always late? Where are you coming from? Keisha said, home. And just <laughs> then throughout the entire program, Prince was my tutor. He taught me everything that I know today, so thank you. On the last day of the summer program, the class went to Six Flags. After the very first roller coaster ride, Adam, the strongest man I know, who's been in the Chinese Olympics for martial arts, vomited everything out of his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> a fantastic start. <laughs> Once the summer program ended, we dove um, head first, spent a countless of hours in, inside the classroom. Every day, Ashley dragged an actual suitcase to class. <laughs> and she only lived two blocks away from campus. <laughs> Andrew Curdally was always at the front of the door welcoming everyone and giving them a big hug that was sure to break your back. <laughs> course after course we passed, and then we finally reached anatomy. Muhammad did not move in scrubs. <laughs> and he dissected an entire cadaver wearing a shirt and tie the whole time. <laughs> I had a fantastic group, which included Stacia and Shindrinko. However, anytime it, anytime it was time to clean up, Shindrinko would magically disappear. <laughs> and Stacia and I would sing, There she goes, there she goes again. <laughs> Sorry, I have no musical talents, but I will be learning from Kathleen. Amy and Tisha during the summer. <laughs> Brett and Zach, most of us still cannot tell you guys apart, but we were completely different, like yin and yang. Brett is the more passionate, serious one. I will never forget his speech to the class when someone stole the uterus of a cadaver. <laughs> <laughs> Zach is a jokester, class clown, if you will. One time he made a professor so distraught that, that he declared that he needed a break because he was too angry to teach us. <laughs> <laughs> Amy and class were definitely too early for most of us. We would get to class on time, take notes for about 15 minutes, and then take a nap until a noon. <laughs> Thank you, Lydia, for sitting next to me and making sure that I had a shoulder to sleep on these last five years. <laughs> and Deandra, you have always had my back. Literally, she sat right behind me for all five years, and any time I would sleep, she would give me a big kick and make me right up. <laughs> Carlos would bike to school, sleep for the entire class, wake up the last five minutes, and then ask a million questions. <laughs> and of course, our sleep readers are Melissa, aka the Cookie Monster, and Daniel. Daniel has fallen asleep in literally every lecture he has attended, <laughs> except for the one on narcolepsy. <laughs> Why did we do that and, and even participate in class? <laughs> so of course that Sophie grades are a big deal and all of us strive hard to do very well. So the lowest grade, so the lowest grade Andrew Howe has ever received was a D for his work at the City College Cafeteria. <laughs> Angela is perhaps one of the smartest class, this was perhaps one of the smartest in our class for sure. Over the last five years, I have probably heard you say about four sentences, but I've, hoped it, but I've seen you smile about a million times. And then there's Ariel, our very own valedictorian. Hands down, she's the smartest person I know, 
But she has her moments. Once, she came to an 8 a.m. class with two different pairs of shoes on. I <laughs> noticed at 4 p.m. that day. And they were not even the same color. <laughs> even though we spent a lot of time in class, most of us were still involved with extracurriculars. Sherry has plenty of school spirit. She walks around Harlem with purple pepper spray in honor of City College School. <laughs> the Vida Tamale founded the club, PHR, and made themselves co presidents. <laughs> to this day, I still have no idea what those letters stand for. <laughs> John likes to have fun. He, he, um, he asked us over for barbecue one day at his house in Staten Island. <laughs> and, then, and I took a bus, then a train then a ferry, and then another bus. Pretty much every mode of transportation except air, just to get there. <laughs> it was an awesome work. And Chantel, I have always thought that you were quiet until the first time that I saw you on the dance floor. I cannot have been more wrong. <laughs> then there were some of us who avoided extracurriculars. Arjun only joined our class at the beginning of this year. <laughs> Ali, you have a fantastic beard. I've been trying to grow it for about 22 years, and it's not working. <laughs> Gunness is a class baby, born in about 1995. <laughs> Ian is the only one I know who can read a manga comic book in its original dialect. And Sophia is sweet and fun to laugh with, or to laugh at. <laughs> then there's Shirley, whose curfew for the first four years of Sophie was 1 o'clock. P.M. <laughs> when she was elected as a 3 class rep, it was a 180 degree turnaround. Our other fantastic class rep, Alicia, has an incredible laugh and sense of humor. So if Sophie was a Disney movie, she would surely be the princess. <laughs> and of course, for the first few years, we had two other amazing class reps, Ramia and Tony, who have always been the glue of our class. Thank you. To us. Over the last five years, I've spent uh, plenty of time in the studio lounge, and we've had great memories in there. We filmed our very own ST2014 duffel bag commercial in there, and Brian, yes, you will always be known as the duffel bag guy. <laughs> Ashraf was very passionate about ping pong, <laughs> and our civil games frequently turned violent fairly quickly. <laughs> She's thrown paddles at me before, and even chased me out of the lounge on several occasions. <laughs> And of course, there was an auction in the lounge. This year, Adam and Hayat were competing to buy me, increasing my bid $40, $50, and then Diana jumped in with $60, however, and then she won me. And I, and I immediately gave her a big hug, and she told me, uh, it was a mistake. <laughs> Frequently in the lounge were Alan and Nikki. Alan is a very funny man, and Nikki has an amazing smile, so it is only right that they are truly a beautiful couple together. Aww. However, I'm sorry to say that the cutest class couple has to go to August and Alba since they <laughs> As you can see, our class is filled with characters, some of whom you might have even seen on TV before. Francis, who has bullied me since day one, kind of looks like Francine from Arthur. Monica, who's always truly supportive and always there for all of us. It's kind of like Monica from Friends. <laughs> Emily came to class when they dressed in a red and white striped shirt and a red beanie. At least now all of us know where's Waldo. <laughs> Denise is actually Dennis the Menace, a troublemaker on the down low. Catherine is awkward yet hilarious, much like Jesse from New Girl. Ma is oh so sweet, but like the Hulk, she can get real mad. Trust me. <laughs> Speaking of the Hulk, hey, Norhan. <laughs> Rachel and Israel, I have no idea how you both could be so successful at Sophie and still maintain a family. My mom was here for a couple of weeks and I lost five pounds because I could barely feed myself. <laughs> and of course, there's Nur. In Arabic, Nur means light and she truly is the light of our class. My strength comes from my friends and family, so certain people deserve a special mention. So let me tell you about the first time that I met Sharice. It was the second day of the summer program, and I got to chemistry class early and sat down, 
And then she sat down next to me. And she was like, hey. So I said, hey. And then one thing led to another. Then, then she started passing notes to me during class. And then at the end she said, okay, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. And of course, she never showed up to the summer program ever again. <laughs> so this day, I don't know, was it something I said? <laughs> then there's Ronald, who's my brother from, from another mother, who's a, who's a comedic genius and Justin Bieber's only male fan. <laughs> and of course, Saya, yeah, he's my brother, one of my best friends, my photographer, and contrary to popular belief, not my girlfriend. <laughs> However, if we were together, I think we would know who wears the pants. <laughs> Last but not least, Yosef. He's always the first one on Instagram. He's a proud mama's boy. <laughs> <laughs> Bright colored red pants, and of course, he has a Colgate smile. <laughs> and lastly, there's my family. Mohammed, who's my younger brother, who is taller than me and has more facial hair than I do, always manages to make me laugh. Ahmed and Iman, both graduates of Sophie, have given me huge shoes to fill, and I hope that one day I do. My dad has consistently pushed us day in and day out from kindergarten until this very day. And of course, my mom is the backbone of our family. She does everything for us. I never ask for anything in return except for diet pills. We have always been known as a very close knit class, and that was not by accident. That is who we are. We have thought about each other before we have thought about ourselves. Continue that mindset, for with it, we surely are destined to achieve great things. Following the footsteps of the greatest Sophie Davis professor, may he rest in peace, Kaiser Edelsack. Never forget his passion, his dedication, and the way he taught us the power of the human touch. We have lost him, but he will always be with us. He taught us that to become the greatest doctors, we must always put the needs of others before those of ourselves. And then, and only then, with our legacy, will we live on forever. It is not about how many things you do, he said, but how great you do. Class of 2014, thank you and congratulations.